Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're gonna show you how to install a power supply for the Epson Expression Premium XP7100. If we use one word to describe this printer, that's compact. So it's really, really, uh, everything's really tight. So before you decide to change the power supply, do some troubleshooting, make sure your problem is the power supply, it's not the other problem. Otherwise, you'll just go through the old trouble for nothing. Also, make sure you get a new power supply from a reliable, resor reliable source. Uh, where to get it? Of course, bchtechnologies.com. And go to bchtechnologies.com and go to printer parts, electronic boards and assembly, and uh, on the left hand side, you're going to see PS power supply. And this is the one we're going to install today. I'm going to remove this scanner unit. Uh, I have another video show you detail step how to remove, remove the scanner for this printer. So I'm not going to repeat it here. So uh, I'm going to put a link above. Just click that link if you don't know how to remove the scanner unit. OK, now we're talking. Um, we're going to remove the two screws from the top. And then you can take off the hinge. Now you can see the top cover kind of loose. So we just need to take a couple screws from the bottom and we can take it off. After you take off those two black screws and you're going to see this little plate going to come off. And then there are like a couple of screws hidden underneath that cover. So we'll get one and two. Uh, by the way, the second screw is a little bit deep, so you will need a Phillips screwdriver, uh, Phillips number two. So actually, the black plate is only secured by four screws. However, the two front one is covered by that, that plate you, you removed. So uh, it's not easy to figure out the first time. Oh, I forgot to film uh, take off those two screws. So now it's the time to take off those two screws. Okay, here's the old unit, a new unit. So do not remove this screw, remove this one instead. Okay, now we need uh, to loosen the uh, bottom plate. And uh, let me take an old plate to show you. So we removed the first screw, now we need to remove this second screw. You can see the second screw right under that motor. This is where the really long screwdriver or angled screwdriver come in handy. Now you can take a motor to drive belt off. Make sure do not damage the, the clear belt in front. Now the motor can just slide right off. Now if you pull it apart, you sort of can see the screw underneath. Uh, let me give you a zoom in. I suggest a long screwdriver with a magnetic tip. So especially during the install, you want to hold that screw. So first one done, second one done, then we're going to work on the third. Do not remove that one, remove this one instead. Okay, this fourth one is in there. Um, you don't really have to remove that, and uh, if you want that, that's your choice. Okay, now uh, the bottom is almost falling apart, so uh, hold, um, use your hand to jiggle a little bit, and then you can slide that uh, power supply right off. Now this piece could fall off when you jiggle it, and so it, it don't worry. It's just like a, it's just like a bracket to hold the uh, um, uh, hold the position. So you can just like put push it right back. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and like. Okay, uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Technology